Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here with, this is part one in a series. And I'm going to be making a purse journal. This is for a gift for, um, for my bestest friend. And I wanted to go ahead and share with you. I'm going to be making a purse journal. This is my purse journal that I made in, we're, th we're thinking 2017 or the very beginning of 2018. Um, and I keep this in my purse and it gives me a place to write things, to keep things. And so I wanted to make one of these for her birthday to go along with her other gifts. And so remember, we also made a purse journal in the VIP with the new, um, the new roses and ledger digital. Okay. So, um, and this might still be available in the Etsy shop. So I've pulled out a box full of things for decorating and using in this that I, um, that I wanted to use in this. I need to put this in my pile here so I don't forget. Okay, so I have gotten Faded Memories from Craft O'Clock, and I picked this up at um, Spectrum Art Creations at one of her live sales. I, I picked it up specifically for this and then for to make some other things as well. And it is awesome. So you get three of the cover pages. You can see there's a little dragonfly um, here and here. And this one also has a dragonfly on it. So I'll be able to use those pieces. Okay. And then if you turn it over, it has this beautiful architecture. Well, the, the other thing is, is Arlene loves architecture. So... Dragonflies architecture. I think this is going to be a great choice for her. Um, this page has, and remember, there's three of each page. Okay, so this one has the two dragonflies, and then it has the large dragonfly on the clock. So I figured I would probably use this as, <clears throat> as the center of the journal, um, but I'm not sure because I'm making a little, you know, a purse journal. I'm not making a big journal, but we've got the two dragonflies here. We have two dragonflies on this page. This is the other side. And you know what? It's kind of funny because I think there was four of these. Yeah, this one there was four of. Okay. Then you have this big dragonfly sitting on the edge here. And a drag, and then wings. Okay, so the an extra wing, and then there's that. Okay, two. Okay, three, and then here we have this beautiful door. There's like some stitching stuff going on that kind of looks like dragonflies, which I thought was pretty trippy interesting and then they did a, a stamp set that I think I think it was them that did the the stamp set okay here we have a door a door knocker really cool just beautiful images doorknob here number two okay so that is the craft o'clock the eight inch paper pad and it had um, 18 double-sided papers um, so let's it's made in Poland okay so beautiful so this is the craft o'clock uh, junk journal extra sex um, it's cut from faded memories mixed media craft o'clock okay and so when I saw this, I was like, okay, there's our cover. There's our cover right there for the journal. That is going to be the cover. Um, interesting, you get words here that are like Polish. 
And then on this side, you have them in English. Okay, this is the other side of the cover. Okay, some of these pages are double-sided and some of them are not. So here's a little mini of that and we'll be able to take that and make a little mini notebook to go inside. And then I can use the cards, the various cards um, throughout. I will start by using the ones with the dragonflies on them. Look at all the different things that we've got. These are that, Those are scissors. Those are not a dragonfly, but there's a dragonfly on there. But all these wonderful pieces, um, the, the other side of those is blank. Okay, so here we've got some more things. This has a dragonfly. This has a dragonfly. This one does. I love this tag. Got tabs. Okay, blank on that side. Okay, so. And then look at these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so those, that is the paper um, line that I'm going to use. And um, then I have two sets of pages from Edith Holden. So this has the dragonfly on it. Here we have the two dragonflies with the little um, verse down here. And we have a dragonfly here. So I am going to incorporate those in here. I will probably do like the leather look of, um, you know, distressing on that. I have a grungy bag. I think that's going to be really great. I have this. I think this is in Antique Garden. You get this little mini book and this is a couple of the pages of the mini book and that would be available on the Dear Julie Julie. Uh, Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. It, I just had a vision. I was like, okay, I didn't use any digitals in here and she would actually like that. I think I'm going to grab some of the Antique Garden digitals I think they will look amazing with this so um, okay um, well this is antique garden this is a misprint but I'll be able to use this in this journal um, I did go ahead and I printed this on parchment paper and I have set my computer my printer to print some more um more pages of this to add in i think it'll be i think it'll be a good match so this is antique garden it also has some of the white roses from antique roses in it okay so i have a journal that i had taken apart and i've pulled out some of the pages with the sayings it has um they have like vines and flowers drawings on them. So I thought I would go ahead and put that in there possibly. I have this doily. I cut some um, lined paper in half that fit. And then I had some of this of the onion skin paper left. And it's within, it's within the amount of size that the page can be <laughs> but they're kind of funny shapes but I wanted to be able to use this so even though this goes like this I was like you know what I'm going to go ahead and put that in there to use and then I have some of the parchment a different parchment paper or this might just be the regular um yeah this is this is my yeah, no, it's a it's a parchment e type paper. Let's see. Let's put these last four pages together. In a purse journal, I like to have my papers grouped. So I have a couple that are two, a that one. These are going to be in various places just because they're different colors. I think we'll separate these two. And so we'll go ahead and fold that. So those two will go someplace and then these two will go someplace. I do put in a lot of paper, plain paper. Um, 
for taking notes and being able to do stuff like that. I think it's, they are wonderful. Um, then I have cut down the margins on this. I cut the ledger in half and then I cut down the margins to fit. So it, hopefully that it'll fit nicely in here. Um, I'm going to use this in pieces. Okay. So I'm going to put that down here in my little box. The one other thing that I found that I think is going to fit is this um, Yahtzee piece. Okay, so we'll put that. Let's go ahead and cut this and I'll check. I'll go check the printer here in just a second. And I'm going to cut this so that it, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we'll come and cut this and I'll be able to save that. I might want to use that. That's going to be a page and this can be a page. Okay, so we'll fold those. And then these can get folded up and they can be like a little... Um, note thing that can go in here also. So let's go ahead and fold this. I'm going to fold it by this line, not by the edge of the paper. Okay, so folding by the line, not by the edge. This is going to give me a couple of, well, one can be a flip out. One, I think this one's going to be a a border tuck so we'll be able to tuck something in here and you know what I'm gonna make it a double pocket border tuck so what will happen is we'll be able to put to put something in this little pocket here and put something in this little pocket here okay and this will be a little flip out Okay, and now we'll do this one. Okay, and this one, again, we'll take the, the smaller one and make it a tuck, but we'll make this a large tuck this time. This and we'll fold this like this. So this was from the mini journal part, but what happened was when I went to print it, I printed it at portrait instead of at landscape. And but we can still use these pieces. They don't need to be thrown away. I can still use them. Now the cool thing about this one is I can use it in either direction. And so since this one, that is there and the flap is in the front, this one, I want the, um, the border tuck to be on the opposite side. So I'm gonna turn it over, okay? So we have those. Let me go check on the printer. Okay, it finally worked. Okay, so I have a side-by-side -side page from Antique Garden that I can use. I have, this is what that other one should have looked like that I can use. And I have the three large tags. And then I have this, it is self-adhesive paper joint tape. And this was um, Happy Mail. And then I have this also. I just think that those are, um, they look like they, <laughs> they belong with this. So all those things, I also have some lace over here as always. And so let's go ahead, cut these papers. I'll show you how I'm gonna cut these um, or use these in the journal. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the pages and I'm gonna use that as a template and I'm gonna fold up 
and we'll have a pocket. One of the things that I found with my purse journal, now especially looking back at how I used it, is the pockets, okay? So I have this this way, but I'm actually, kind of, I actually want it to fold this way. Okay. Remember I used that parchment paper. It's a little bit thicker than regular copy paper. And so I think that that will be, be good. I don't think I, I don't think I need the flip. I was going to do that as a flip, but I think we'll just go ahead and, and cut that. Okay. So this will be a double pocket page. And remember we got that from the large the large tags, okay? And that's gonna give us a double pocket page to go in here. Okay, and then this, we'll just end up with a small, okay, if we put this here, you can using the page as a template and put that there. Okay, and I think again, we'll make this a little little tuck so closing this up making that a tuck we'll want to close those pockets too okay so then I have one more piece that um, is from the mini journal kit so the majority of the um, digitals that have like that have like um, pictures and things like that. And then they will have a mini journal kit. So that is that. And, oh, I have two things left. Okay, so, but this is the mini journal kit. And so this is the page that we ended up where I had printed it wrong and we had just me. Well, it actually says home. And we're gonna go ahead and Cut this down. Okay. And I think we'll cut the, the top and Let me see if I need to cut the sides. Yeah, we'll cut the we'll cut the sides. That'll help it. So if you were at the VIP on last Wednesday, then you saw how I made the purse journal out of using the the new ledgers and or roses and ledger digital kit. So you saw what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just getting these ready. Okay. Um, okay. I think we'll do that. We're going to use this one. Okay. So we're going to fold this and find the center. And then you can see this, this pocket is larger than that. We're going to fold this on the line. Okay, fold it on the line. Okay, and then we'll come in and we're going to cut this down so that it'll be just inside the center. Oh, you can leave that and fold it over. Ah, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Because then you can use it and make your envelope bigger. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my little one-inch circle punch. 
I use this all the time. This is probably one of my most used punches. It probably is my most used punch. Okay. And you can save those if they don't fall on the floor. And even if they do fall on the floor, you can save them. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go across the bottom and the outside edge. We're gonna bring that in, fold it down, and it's gonna make us a little pocket. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, across the bottom and the outside edge. Let's bring it in. We now have a little, wonderful little pocket page. Um, this works with the, uh, the Dear Julie Julie kits. Almost all of them, um, if they say deluxe digital, they probably have a mini journal kit in there. So just pick one that, okay, there you go. You've got those, those places and it's glued down. Okay, now this one, um, I think, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this again. We'll fold this like we did the other one. And on this one, I'm going to check, and it, they're pretty darn close, okay? So um, then I'm going to go ahead and pull this in and fold it at the line. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this one in and fold it at the line. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around, okay, I'm going to flip it around, okay, so it's flipped around, then I'm going to grab this edge and pull it over. This one just ends up because this is back a different program that I used to use, and some of the things just didn't match up the way that I thought they were. They still work. Everything works, but okay. So I'm gonna trim that down. Okay, so now I have this, okay? So, but what I wanna do here, okay, so I've got that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, okay, the center, I'm gonna fold it so that the two pieces are um, together, okay? The, the picture's on the outside, okay? So it was, it was like this, where your picture was like this, and this was folding around, okay? Um, okay, but now we're gonna open it up, Take the center and fold it this way. Check it one more time. That's how I want to do this. Okay, so the home is on the bottom. I'm going to come over here. I want to keep the butterfly. I'm going to look over here. I'm going to lose the butterfly on the other side. How can I? Yeah, we're going to lose the butterfly on the other side. We're going to start here. And we're gonna go ahead and cut up to that crease, okay? We're gonna have that left, okay? Now we're gonna fold it back the way it was, okay? So pictures on all the outsides. And then we're gonna go ahead and put glue across here. 
So across the center two, push this one down so your home one comes down. This one, bring that one down. Okay, then we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna go ahead and put glue across this edge. This is just how I'm doing this and I'm just doing this as you see it. I, I did not have I did not have this idea ahead of time, so there you go. Sometimes that happens. I'll have I have my ideas and then other other ideas come up while I'm while I'm create creating and so I I go with it just like if I was just sitting here by myself crafting. Except I'm talking <laughs> except I'm talking while I'm doing it. Okay? So there's that, there's that, and we now have this little booklet. Okay, so we want to come in here and do this, and I will add probably add some paper onto the inside of here. But there is a little um, booklet that will actually be able to go like into a pocket inside the journal. Okay, so let's go ahead, close these pockets. Let's put our papers together. And okay. So that, that's going to give us a page. I think we decided that we wanted to take these off. Okay. Okay. So we have this beautiful, I love, I love this. Um, I think that might be my, my inside first inside page. I like to have um, something pretty when you first open the journal. We're going to do the cover separate, but when you first open the journal, I like to have something pretty. Um, I like to have a pocket, and then I like to have the ledger paper. And so this one, we cut the papers in half, and we ended up with two. So that's going to be awesome. Let's see. Taking joy in life is a woman's best cosmetic. And okay, so we're going to put that in like that. Okay. So I have quite a variety of items to add. I'm going to want some, some papers. And then... Um, let's see, like this little pocket guy and this. So these ones are going to be the, um, the outside. They'll be the largest page of what we have going on. Um, That. Oh, we have more. <laughs> Sorry, we do have a set of just the just pages. So let's go ahead and cut those. Sorry about that. Totally forgot that I wanted to put these in. And we'll cut these edges off. Okay. 
just a little bit too big. And then I have something else I want to add to these. I want to make sure that I, you know, I want to use my stuff. So I have, I've been purchasing um, dragonfly stamps, not a bunch of them, but some, and I want to make sure that I use those. Um, and I thought that these pages would be a good place to use those. Um, so at least the really big one that I got. So here is the big one that I purchased from Spectrum Art Creations at one of her live sales. Actually, I think I purchased this on the website. Um, so I love it. I do want to put it on an acrylic block. Where's my really big acrylic block? So you guys have seen this. It's uh, It actually was a um, picture frame a magnetic picture frame and it was glued here and it was kind of broken it was at the goodwill okay i'll go ahead and put that on there put those over in the box okay we're gonna need an Something for underneath. Okay. I think we'll go all the way off the top and the bottom. And I think we'll use black ink. Okay. So this is its first time getting stamped. Of course, this is a really grungy type journal here. I'll come up here. Take a look. Okay. Move you up. I probably should have put this in the stamp positioner, but I didn't. Ooh, isn't that so, so cool? It made a great impression. I love, love it, love it, love it. So where is the other, the other page? And I think on this one, do this. But I'm only going to do half of it but I'm gonna I'll put the ink on on most of it so that we don't okay Mm, very cool. Okay, so we have those. Then I'm thinking, whoa, stay there. On our grungy paper.
might be kind of cool on here. Except I kind of like it on the... Okay, I'm trying to look through <laughs> and see the line down the center. Mm -hmm, close. I missed the line, but that's okay. Okay. Wow. This is such a cool stamp. Okay. So we have, um, I grabbed these out of my Halloween stuff. These are grungy coffee dyed index cards. So I do have some, I got this rubber stamp. I think this one came from a Goodwill haul. Use that, and then I think we'll use my words. See here we've got a dragonfly and some flowers. words. Okay. Yeah, I skipped to that because it was the fun part, but I needed to do the stamping for those pages before they go in. And then I think we'll do a couple more. Um, let's stamp on a couple of these. Let's see, this one, I think. Okay, so we got that one, that one, that one, this one.
Okay, so I decorated a bunch of those. Let's put these stamps up here on top of the sewing machine. Okay, so the next thing I think that I would, I'm going to want to do is do the distressing. So I'm going to do that. And um, in the next video, I will show you how, what, what color I came up with, what color combination. And um, so now I have my pages ready. We're going to take this back part now that we've made, <laughs> we've got some other things made and um yeah so working on the dragonfly purse journal i hope you'll join me um for the next part of this and here's a look at what we got done so far we've picked out our pages we've got them cut and folded we have quite a variety and there are a lot of them um, that is on purpose and then we did go ahead and we picked out some items and we made um, that little booklet. Possibly this will either be a page or a booklet. I think it's going to be a page. That'll be a booklet. These, these will be pages. This will go inside the journal as a page. A page. We have the large pockets. Then we did go ahead and we stamped this dragonfly and that is going to be a page. It might be even be the page that you see when you open the, the journal. I think that this image is absolutely beautiful. Then here we stamped it on the edge. And so I think that's also beautiful. And by putting it here, it will probably be closer to the back of the journal. Here we went ahead and we stamped on our little bag. So that's pretty cool. Then we stamped on some index cards with the variety of um, dragonfly stamps that I had. So these are also ready to go in the book once we're finished. I need to I need to grab another little box. Okay, then we also went through and we stamped these um, with the word stamp and dragonflies. So these are um, from out of a journal that I already had and I had cut them to fit in here. So that will be cool. We have this little card. This was this um, little book. It's an antique little tiny book and it is in the antique garden digital is where you'll find it. And I think there's, there's eight or 12 pages like this. Okay. And then I have these that I can add in also. So, um, okay. So that's what we got done today. And I am really excited to get moving on this and get it finished. And um, so, yeah, so this is part one. I hope you enjoyed and find something to celebrate every day. Um, are you playing along? Do you have some items and are you making a purse journal? I think you will really like it. I think it's, um, it's also one of those things that people that don't usually journal might actually enjoy having a journal that they can put in their purse it's then it's going to be just tied with the ribbon and you guys it it'll it'll it's okay that it's chunky and full and it, it becomes a place where you can add more things and you can write um but it, it's helped keep my stuff in order. And as you saw, mine is like a time capsule, which is kind of cool. I did add some fabric to the edge of mine because, and on the end, or not mine, but this one is in the, the Etsy shop. Um, if it's still there, it's there for sale. I also want to remind you that the Roses and Ledger digital kit is on sale in the Etsy shop. It's 53 pages of 
pages and ephemera. There's postcards, there's wallets, there's large tags, there's the new bookmarks, and um, also the small ephemera pages. But 53 pages of roses on ledger in a variety of colors. And um, so that is available for 50% off in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Patreons, yours are 70 seven zero percent off if you are a diamond or emerald it also includes all of the roses kits so roses roses antique roses antique garden um, pink harmony pink ephemera uh, succulents and roses courting lady jane as well as the bases journal kit and the lace grunge all of those are on sale for 50 percent off through the end of september so that you can get ready for pink october this journal kit originally was going to just be pink roses and um the other roses kept telling me that they wanted to be in it too so <laughs> yeah yeah my ephemera talks to me <laughs> Or something happens because it ends up on these kits just keep ending up huge. So, yeah. Hooray! I'm excited that that's here. Thank you all so much for being here. Have an amazing day. Please make sure that you're praying for the people in the community here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.